Welcome to another edition of Station Tutorials, and I got a cool one for you guys today, or at least I hope so. Alright, I start out, I just have this still frame here of this guy just laying uh, on this bed here. I don't know if he's sleeping or if he is in a hospital or what's going on here. We're going to put this image in 3D space here and just make it easier to move around. And then I have this reveal right here, this nice white black reveal. We're going to drag that out. And you can see how it just kind of soaks up into the frame. Let's make a new solid and we're going to make it dark red, like a blood color. And then we'll hit OK. And then we're going to take that solid and drag it underneath this reveal and we're going to change it to Luma Matte. There's a couple things you can do here with these mats. If we change it to Luma Inverted, you can see how it kind of reveals our image here. But what we want here is just the Luma mat, not the inverted, just the regular. All right, we're going to take this, and now we're going to put everything in 3D space, and we're going to rotate this here. We're going to rotate this along the x-axis, so it kind of goes in line with the surface of his chest where he's laying down. And then we can move this up here. And you can see how it's starting to fall off there on the edges, so we're going to scale it down. And then we'll move it right into the chest area. I'm also going to scale up this red layer so I don't have to worry about the edge of the mat falling off. Rotate it a little bit more so it's kind of flush with his chest. So just kind of get it so the surface is in line with whatever your surface is. All right, once you get that where you want it, we're going to change this transfer mode to multiply. And instantly you can see here, you can start to see the wrinkles through the shirt. And it looks as if this is a liquid soaking up into the cloth there. And that's exactly what we're going for. You can see it soak into the fabric there and it looks as if it's going through the shirt. You can also change the opacities here on your solid to get the, just the right look. Uh, maybe it's a little too thick, you want it a little lighter. Uh, maybe you're going for that blackish blood look. Or you can bring down the color even on your solid if you want. And you can do the same thing with the reveal. You can change the opacity of that and just a combination of these things will get the right look, whatever you're trying to go for. Now you can still see that as we go along here further down in our timeline, that it's maxing out along the edges. And there's two things you can do to prevent this, and I'm gonna show you each here. Now we can go to right click time stretch, and the way this works is the opposite of final cut. When you put in a number here in the stretch factor, that's going to play back at half as long versus playing back at 50% as it works in final cut. So when I put it at 150, it's going to be time and a half in length. Another way you can do this is go to where it starts to edge out and then we can time remap. And so now, once it starts to edge out, we'll set ourselves a keyframe. And then we can drag this keyframe down to however long we want this effect to last. So I'm gonna pick about five seconds here. Let's just drag it down to five. So then I'm going to trim my comp by right clicking on the slider and hitting trim comp to work area. Like I said, if we want to make this blood a darker shade, we can just go in here and reset the solid. And then I'm going to bring in a new camera and a new null object. We will parent our camera to our null and make our null 3D. All right, we're gonna set a keyframe at zero, and then we'll go to the end and set a keyframe at our five second mark as well. Now we will reposition our null for our starting point. We'll move to the end and do the same thing and find our point there. Our only problem here is that our blood is not staying exactly where we want it. We're gonna bring up the position for all of our images we're gonna set the Z positions all to zero so that they're on the same plane and they will move perfectly with our camera. Now I'm gonna reposition the blood stain here, maybe put it over his heart, I don't know, maybe he got shot in the chest, who knows. And now you can see our blood sticking with our image perfectly. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pre-compose all these layers and we're gonna add a handheld effect here by using this aftershake footage which is a nice plug-in from Video Copilot. It comes with their preset package. Then you can adjust the speed, the amount, and the rotation here just to kind of give it more of a, a natural feel versus being a still frame. And then I'm gonna go ahead and also add a new solid and make this black. And we're gonna put a nice vignette here, pick the ellipse and then just double click it. And then hit invert, hit F, bring up the feathering amount, and then bring the opacity down. And now you can see we got a nice vignette on there. We're gonna just gonna bring this to fit. Then we'll also add a new adjustment layer. And just put a curves adjustment on here. And we'll just grunge this up a little bit, make it a little dirtier looking, maybe a little darker. Add some contrast here. Not too much. There's already a decent amount in there. Then we're just going to strip the reds out of here and give it a little harsher feel. See, if you put it back in there, it warms it up a little too much. We want kind of a darker, eerie feel here. Put some blue in there. And then maybe just a smidge of green. Maybe just a tidbit of green. Not too much. All right. Now you can see when this renders out, it has a nice handheld feel to it. The blood is staying right on his chest with a nice Luma mat there going through our ink bleed. You know, that didn't take us too long. And now you got a nice effect here. You can also do this with moving footage if you were to track it onto something. Um, that would make a nice cool effect as well. And, you know, maybe this is too much. If you want to tame it down a little bit, we can bring these levels down. Or even, you know, ramp it up and just bring these levels up and it'll be even a shakier feel. It all depends on what feel you're trying to go for here. All right, guys, so that about does it for this. Uh, I hope you learned a little bit here. What do you guys want to learn next? There's a couple options here, you know, just comment below. The purpose of these videos aren't for you to go and, you know, replicate exactly what I'm doing. I hope you're taking pieces here and there from the things that I'm showing you and then going out and combining these pieces and making stuff of your own. All right, guys, I'll see you later.